Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, February 2nd. It's time for Daily Devotion. Today, uh, we're going to have a little uh, bit of a juicy Daily Devotion. Uh, it's always fun when we get into lists of sin, and no one does it better than Paul. So I'm going to read Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 through uh, 23. The, act, the acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissension, faction and envy, drunkenness, orgies and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. So the fun part about the list that we all enjoy is we go through them and we think... It's really fun that I don't do any of those and that other people do and they're in trouble. Uh, come on, we all do it. Um, you know, we all believe, this is pretty much universal, that the worst sins are the sins that somebody else does that we're not tempted to do. It's just the way we are. Because we, we always want to make sure that we uh, look good. Um, and one of the best ways to look good is to make others look bad. And, you know, this is the, the kid at school who uh, verbally bullies people. Uh, it's the co-worker who, um, you know, kind of slights you to make themselves look better. Um, but we do it in every way. And so we take these lists of sins. And there's some really fun and juicy stuff. If, if you ever really want to get into it, we could do a Bible study on them. And um, we'd all have to, you know, be blushing half the time. But still... This is not a complete list, um, and, and that's where we get misunderstandings from when we read Paul. We read Paul, and we make these lists because those are his lists, and we forget the very last line of it that says, says and the like. Um, we, we like a list that's black and white. It's a sin or it's not. And then somehow, when it's a sin, that even though it's black and white, we start realizing we're getting awfully close to, then the gr gets gray, and the gray gets pushed over a little bit. And we don't really start to take accountability for what we do, why we point our fingers at other people. Uh, this, is, um, this is one of the reasons people leave the church, uh, honestly, or, or one of the reasons that people outside the church never come close to the church. Because we point our fingers, we call them sinners, and meanwhile we're going out and we are uh, doing acts of the flesh like nobody's business, but we don't admit it. Uh, it's called hypocrisy, and the church is really good at it, and humanity is really good at it. Uh, and so we, instead of, instead of trying to say that we don't do these acts of the flesh, instead of saying that other people's acts of the flesh are worse than ours, we have to claim it. We have to say we are as bad at these as anybody else because these are not black and white. Uh, when we read Jesus, we know the intention or the will is just as strong as the actions, and we're all tempted. Uh, and, and often we stray, uh, maybe not on this list, but on another one. So we have to own that. We have to say, you know what? We are sinners. We do acts of the flesh. And you do too. And that doesn't necessarily, uh, we're not judging you when we say that. We're just saying this is the human condition. This is who we are. And then we move to the next list. The fruits of the Spirit. You know, this is the one we always try to find ourselves in. And, and you know what? There's reasons for that, because we do these things. We do love. We do have joy. We have peace. Uh, we have kindness. Um, you know, we have goodness at times and faithfulness. You know, we may not always do these. Uh, it may not be 100% of our lives, which I wish it was. I pray that it is, and I work for it. Um, but we do have these. And so we look at our, the places in our lives where we do acts of the flesh, and then we look at places 
uh, where we have the fruit of the Spirit, and we can realize that, that we're people, and that we have the grace of God, and that we have, when we look at other people, we don't judge them, because they are people too, and God wants them to have the fruits of the Spirit just as much as us. So we don't look down on them, and we don't prop ourselves up. We just love people, because that's kind of the first one on the fruit of the Spirit. And we accept people for who they are. And when we do that, when we start to declare from the rooftops, we love you for who you are because God loves you for who you are. We're going to stop hearing that all Christians are hypocrites, even though we are. But that's not going to be the thing we telegraph. What we're going to telegraph is love and acceptance. And that is the root of the fruit of the Spirit. And that is the opposite of the works of the flesh. Let's pray. Lord, we, uh, we do stray in the works of the flesh, you know, every day. Uh, and then we do look at other people's works of the flesh and our acts of the flesh, and we think theirs are worse, and they're not. Help us not to judge. Lord, we look at these gifts of the Spirit, and we see them in ourselves, and it's true because we do them. And sometimes we don't always see them in other people, but they do them too. Help us to love them for their root works of the Spirit, no matter gifts of the Spirit, no matter how, how far they are, are, are accomplished or how far they've come, but just to love and accept them. Help us not be hypocrites, but help us be the ones who love, the ones who accept, just as you are the one who loves and accept. Lord, we ask this in your holy and all-powerful name. Amen.